guys fun to checking in once again from the house not the garage gym but um, that'll come in shortly with my workout video anyways today I wanted to do something differently I wanted to do um, something new to my channel I know this has been done to death a million times by plenty of fitness youtubers out there but uh, what I wanted to do was kind of show you a grocery pickup um, kind of show you what I bought today just came back from Costco uh, got everything kind of spread out and laid out there for you guys to see um, I just wanted to do it because this is actually the first time I've ever done something like this I've actually bought food all healthy um, my goals uh, recently in this past month or two was to ultimately feel better feel healthier um, I know I've been in somewhat of a uh, powerlifting cycle all I've been doing was lifting heavy low reps high weight things like that and along came with that was basically bad diet bad nutrition high inflammation high sat fat high cholesterol things like that so um, in the next few basically you know a lifestyle change this is going to be a lifestyle change for me I wanted to do something different and wanted to eat healthier ultimately be um, you know just a healthier guy lose weight slimmer less inflammation less risk for cancer things like that so this is basically my pickup for today let me go in the wide angle here um, spent about a hundred bucks at Costco um, as you can see here I got you know the healthy bread potatoes um, broccoli cucumber in packs you know nothing special these things are all the things that you can get Costco Sam's Club um, you know it'll probably last me about two weeks cucumber just just all this stuff in here oh by the way this is my my kitchen as it sits now you know I moved into the new place uh, anyways yeah that's it basically I just got a lot of greens you know I didn't I'm not necessarily sure what vitamins each have I know I know bananas have potassium um, basically I just wanted to get the whole rainbow you know good greens I got the oranges reds blues um, also I, I, th I saw this here in, uh, in, in Costco I wanted to get you know improve my gastrointestinal health your uh, your basically your bowel movements and everything I wanted to stay regular I noticed that in the past uh, year or so my diet has been has gone to shit technically basically and um, you know everything kind of fell to the wayside recovery went bad for uh, the gym um, definitely you know inflammation in the muscles um, also you know my, my gut wasn't necessarily working as well as I wanted to nor did it look the way I wanted to either so you know I just wanted to show you guys um, kind of document this for me future watching also I wanted to spend money and time focusing on my health I didn't want to go out and eat as, mu as much as I used to um, just for reference this is what I currently have in my refrigerator um, as you can see I got well I do have some healthy stuff I have some frozen bananas and some kale and some spinach that's for juicing but I got lots of meat as you can see right here I got like the ground beef patties this is like hundred and fifty dollars worth of uh, prime steaks you know I haven't even dug into it yet but um, probably need to finish that before I start you know making those healthy moves in life got like a lot of eggs got a whole stack of bacon lots and lots of bacon so as you can see I really wanted to just make that change I wanted to, wanted to be healthier I wanted to be uh, you know a slimmer all-around healthier guy anyways that's my grocery pickup for the day if you have any recommendations on eating healthy, um, you know, let, let me know. Put it in the comment section below and uh, enjoy the uh, workout video, guys. Thanks. Oh, and uh, one more thing, guys. Before I left, I wanted to show you what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. So it's going to be kind of healthy. Um, actually, it's going to be pretty healthy. The most unhealthiest thing there is here is probably the cream cheese. So um, there's going to be two pieces of bread on top of here, but this is just uh, cream cheese, cucumber and a bunch of fruits. I'm also going to have a protein shake after this so just so I can have some extra protein. But anyways, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, so anyways, moving on to the workout today. Um, I wanted to dub today kind of like the, the working man's routine or the um, recovering man's routine. There's, it's really hard for me to classify exactly what kind of workouts I've been doing the past few weeks. I've been going to the gym, not necessarily filming it. Um, 
putting out a video once a week or so just because of how busy I am in the summertime. I'm not able to put out as much videos as I used to, but you know, I'm, I'm still trying, making some good content, something new. Uh, for today, I didn't really want to go too heavy. You know, I wanted to do what I felt like doing. I wanted to just pick up the weights, uh, a comfortable weight, you know, focus on form, focus on the f muscular feel. Um, did, did the dumbbell incline press here. As you can see, I always like work starting my workout with a dumbbell incline press or um, or a pull, you know, a lat pull down or something like that. It's a great stretch for the upper body, and it's a great way for me to start my workouts. I just did like 50 pounds, uh, a few sets of you know, a few sets of 12 or so. Following the dumbbell incline press, um, you know, I like I love using the safety uh, squat bar. It's very um, comfortable and it's really really great for me to focus on my form and depth and it's uh, amazing in the fact that it really hits your uh, lower body and your core as well and it's a great alternative to you know low bar squatting and high bar squatting I did a review on this piece um, it's from Elite FTS it's a wonderful piece uh, you can do a lot of different stuff with this funny thing is I'm actually watching uh, during my workout a video of my old workout videos in the background you can see fit there that's that was my old garage gym um, call it narcissistic but you know when, when I I film my videos to see somewhat how far I've gone you know I, I've been making these videos for about a year now and you know I definitely can say that um, for for better or for worse I've actually gone you know I've, I've come so far in terms of everything when it comes to the gym with experience with knowledge in a year, you know, I gained strength, but strength isn't everything. There's always that, um, you know, a little bit more experienced, a little bit more seasoned, a little bit wiser in the gym. One of the things I've learned is that numbers isn't everything. Um, chasing numbers in the gym definitely will burn you out. It's, uh, it's definitely something that I kind of had a distaste for in the recent months, you know. Um, chasing after weight, chasing after PR, that's definitely, I would akin it to chasing after money, you know. Money isn't everything. Money won't necessarily buy you happiness. Sure, you know, I mean, money could make you happy. It could buy you the things in life, but money and, uh, money and wealth might go hand in hand, but money, I mean, money and uh, happiness could go hand in hand, but not, money isn't necessarily what happiness is. Poor people in, you know, in the third world countries are generally, could be happier than somebody who's, you know, making $250,000 a year. But uh, the relation that I was trying to make here is that um, going after heavier squats, going after having a PR on your deadlift is kind of like just trying to make that extra dollar. It's not what happiness is. For me, happiness is going to the gym, doing what's fun uh, for me, doing what makes me feel better and uh, doing what makes me forget about the outside influences in life and just kind of go to the gym and you know release that um, release that animosity release that anger and uh, ultimately feel better day in day out um, I wanted to kind of take that um, as my MO I wanted to just go to the gym you know and focus on what makes me happy definitely film it and um, have a little conversation with with you guys about you know goals and things like that for for those of you guys who are more experienced than I am as well as for those of you who are just starting up in high school just like I was um hearkening back to the high school I think those were actually the most fun days of my uh lifting ever you know when the first time I picked up the weight with the buddies listening to you know the music at the time just kind of not necessarily going for numbers not going for any records um, just picking up the weight and doing it what's fun for me as you can see most of my weights today were generally pretty light I just kind of wanted to focus on form I wanted to focus on getting work done and um, yeah basically you know um, even with light weight I felt like you put in enough effort you put in enough focus regardless of how much weight you're moving whether it be 135 whether it be 500 pounds you, you could always leave the gym feeling happy or you could always leave the gym feeling like a train wreck um, so today's workout definitely was you know what I needed it's uh, my workouts are few and far between 
in the recent weeks and months. But, um, you know, I think my body needs it and I'm just going with the flow. I'm listening to my body. I definitely wanted to focus more on nutrition like I showed you in the, earlier in the video today. And it's something I really wanted to bring forward uh, in the upcoming few months in my videos. Um, it's something that I believe is my weak point, nutrition, along with cardio. And uh, I believe mobility is kind of uh, catching up to, you know, I'm getting better at it day in and day out. So I want to include more of that in the future. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please do like, share, and do subscribe if you uh, follow my uh, content. If you do have any recommendations, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And uh, keep it positive, guys. Thanks for watching again, and um, lift something heavy. Peace out.